In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with groups and layers outside of groups so that you can basically match up your audio and other elements outside of your group. So let's just preview this quick video and it'll give you a better understanding on how and where you can use this feature. Cool, so as you can see, we've got really nice kind of stomp style music and the text and the elements and the images and things like that are all basically in sync with the beat. So what we've done is basically enabled a feature where you can create groups of elements. So instead of having a million elements on your timeline and it really being really um, full and where you can't actually see everything, um, you can basically group elements into scenes and you can rename them as scenes, for example, or group or whatever you want to do there. And if we just go into this group here, you can see I've got my layers that are inside this group, okay, over here. But what I want to do is basically match up my layers with the audio track. And if I go back out of here, you can see I've got my audio track here, but the layers, um, I can't actually see them because it's not inside that group. So what, if, what you can do is basically go into your group and then you'll see this option over here where it says show all layers. So if I just turn that on, I can now go ahead and actually see the audio waveform for the entire video. Now this is really powerful because you can just zoom in like so and you can basically match up certain things with your beat. Okay, so if I go back over here, um, let's go back out of this one and go into another group where we've got text. So can make it a little bit more obvious. Okay, here, so we've got, this one's got some nice text coming through and you wanna make sure that it's in the same beat of here. So I can just go into this group and you can see that the show all layers is turned on. So now I can see these layers inside my group. I've got four layers and these are basically four text layers. So you can see now, if I just zoom in a bit closer, I can basically match up this layer to make sure it's exact in the same time with this beat. Okay, so if it's about here, you can see it starts the next beat was about here, so you can see I've aligned this one up. And this one as well was, the main beat was about there, but let's say I wanna make it so that it adds about there. I can just go ahead and select this layer and then just simply drag it so that it starts at the same time as that beat, okay? And if I just zoom out of here, if I just go back out of here and just preview that. So you can see how quick and easy that is to really you know, make sure that everything's simple on your timeline and you can actually match up your audio, even your vo if you've got a voiceover narration and you're saying certain things, you can create groups and then just basically sh click on show all layers and you can see the audio track and you can align your text with your voiceover um, inside your group. Okay, so this is a quick video showing you um, a quick tip on how you can really use groups or scenes to basically match up yeah, your text, your images, your animations with your overall audio track or voiceover narration. Mm -hmm. 